Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Good afternoon. How you doing, John? Hey, Art. Good. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. And this is the second in a series of our quarantine videos. Uh, <laughs> quarantine. I don't feel quarantined. Well, How that's about you? because you you live on a ranch. Uh, with ducks and chickens and geese and mice and stuff. But you can talk about that later. Uh, but we're, we're certainly feeling quarantined, but actually handling it well. Uh, and well, that's, that's true. My, my nearest neighbor is probably, uh, I don't know, 100 yards away, something like that. And your nearest neighbor is... Uh, about 20 feet. 20 feet. <laughs> yeah. so, and we don't see Big them difference. because everybody's staying inside. Well, you're a retirement community anyway. So right. it's when a, you go down your street, you never see anybody. Right. But uh, well, we used to actually see at least a car pulling away from the house. But most of the cars <laughs> are still in front of the house or in the driveway. And they closed down all of the recreation. So Did they really? Yeah. No, uh, everything is shut down. Even their uh, board meeting is being done virtually once a month. Well, that's good. So that's uh, good. Virtual, and that, you know, I'm surprised that more people aren't using um, Skype and Zoom and uh, FaceTime and all those other things so to do, do think, virtual you, communication. What do you think about this uh, physical uh, distancing? How's that working out for you? I, it works out fine for me because I'm not near anybody. Um, <laughs> we go. We, I, by, uh, by the way, we I go do to miss, the stores. I, I do miss uh, lunch uh, at the Calypso every uh, other week. So. I do, I do too. That's nice. But, yeah. you know, then we'd infect all those other people. Um, speaking of physical distancing, it really should be called physical distancing, not social distancing. Oh. Because what we don't need is we don't need to be isolated. What we need to be is maybe the word quarantine is better, but we just need to be safe at a safe distance from those people that might give us uh, uh, the flu or whatever it is, COVID-19. Yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting before we started, we were talking about a couple of topics we're going to talk about. I was going to say social distancing, but when you said physical distancing, uh, it just, wow, it really struck me that you're really right. Uh, we don't want to be socially uh, distant. You've solved it in certain ways. We are beginning to. How have you solved your social non-social distancing uh, activities. <laughs> well, to be real honest, we're just being cautious. We're, we haven't curtailed our activities uh, significantly. We're, we're going out less only because instead of going to the store, I don't know, three times a week, we're going once. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife found out that, uh, for instance, at Costco, is it Costco? No, it's the supermarket. The supermarket said they would have um, something she was looking for, chicken or something oh, like right. that. They would have it. They got, Oh, no, it was a can of beans. That, that's what she was wanted to make chili. And she was looking for a can of kidney beans. Mm. And the other day when she was at the market, the guy said, oh, well, we stock up on Monday night. So or on Sunday night. So she went there early uh, today, Monday morning. With senior, with senior hour, did they have like a senior hour there? No, they didn't have a senior hour at that oh. particular store, which I really like the idea of senior hour. But she went at eight o'clock in the morning, and about fifty or sixty people had already been there <laughs> and cleared out the cans. Well, I have the, I have the three cans of want. kidney beans in my storage area in the garage. I'll leave them out front. Okay, okay good. Do a drive by, pick them up. And they're yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not having chili tonight. That's yeah. all I can tell you. That's for sure. <laughs> um, so, so, so my point, I guess, is that um, the stores are not hoarding. They've got plenty of supplies. They can't get them in fast enough. Yeah. Uh, they only, you know, when do they stock the shelves? Every every other night, every third night, something like that. Right. But people are hoarding, and so. It's silly. And look, it's not silly if you think it's the end of the world, you know, but it is silly if you re recognize that we're not in short supply in this country. It's it's 
the people pulling it off the shelves that are making it hard for the rest of us. So we really need to come together. And those people that are scared, worried, filled with anxiety about the 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 length of this, it's not a, the length of this isn't a problem. We can all survive this very easily if we all just pull together and act rationally. That's well, I, my. You, you remind me that I one of the things I, I actually enjoy the in this quite serious time, the humor of it all to lighten it up a bit. Uh, uh, I, uh, as far as hoarding goes, there was a there was a thing on uh, Facebook or someplace that said, uh, in 2050, your grandson is going to be using that last roll of toilet paper that <laughs> that somebody bought uh, uh, 30 years ago and say, finally, during the corona, of- <laughs> what was what were they thinking of? <laughs> That's good. Well, but, speaking of, of humor, no, 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 you're right. No, 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 let's go all the way. Let's go back to shopping, shopping. Oh, back so, to shopping. Well, I have to share this one video. Okay. My friend Jan sent me a video, and it's, I don't know, it's Italian or something like that. And he, he all I saw was, uh, gee, I'm sorry there's no subtitles. So it's an Italian video. It's a man and a woman in bed. And they're both reading. And he leans over and coughs on her. <laughs> you know, and she goes, oh, 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 oh. And he does the pause. They go back to reading. He does it again a second time. She goes, oh. Third time, he starts leaning off to the side as if he's about to cough. But she pulls the covers up over her head to prevent getting the, the cough in her face. And he doesn't cough. He breaks wind. <laughs> Under the cover. <laughs> Under the cover. Timing is everything. Anyway, I, I can't do it justice by describing it. It is an extremely funny video. A um, little inappropriate for certain audiences, but but very funny. And well, you're right. We've got to laugh at this stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm enjoying all the... Uh, they have the uh, earrings, the pierced earring sets that are little rolls of toilet paper. Uh, <laughs> they have... The, my favorite one, which I reposted, was a bag of the cores of toilet, uh, toilet rolls. that said yeah. uh, seeds, 25 cents each. <laughs> so the other day, after two weeks being quarantined, I finally had a an empty roll. And on my way out, I asked to to throw it in the, the trash. I asked my wife if, if we were still saving them. <laughs> uh, but back from the humor for a moment, because I have one other uh, kind of funny one to the shopping. So uh, and and we'd like uh, 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 our uh, viewers to uh, let us know uh, things that are particularly either funny or interesting or concerning to you to send either Art or John at CelebratingAct2.com. Any thoughts you have and uh, we'll bring them up because we're going to do this every couple of days because uh, we're living through this uh, just as you are. But Yeah, uh, we're sharing we're sharing yeah. our experiences and uh, they may not be the same ones you have. Hopefully we're also imparting some Decent information and some good attitudes that can get you through this. And different viewpoints. For instance, on shopping, uh, we don't go out shopping. And, and I actually probably have the mind to, uh, I have some about four or five N95 masks from a sanding job I did 20 years ago that was still in a box because I probably used one or two and haven't used the rest of so between that and maybe a pair of gloves. Uh, I would feel comfortable going out, particularly early morning and so on and so forth. But our kids are, we, we have, uh, uh, all our kids are grown, and two of them are nearby. And uh, one of them says, look, I go to Ralph's or wherever she goes uh, once a week because she's working, at, she's uh, been uh, sequestered to work at home from her company. She's got a good job, but she's been working at home. So she'll go out once a week and pick stuff up. Um, good, my, that's my, good. My son lives about four miles in the other direction. And they've said, we want you here. And uh, we can't see the grandkids, unfortunately. We have two older ones and two younger ones. But we can talk to them and we do that. But they insist on doing the shopping. And you know what? I said, okay, I accede to that. Because quite frankly, I know that I would have done the same thing to my parents. Sure. It's too risky to get out. So we've made that adjustment and we're doing okay. You know, that that brings up a good point, and that is a lot of us are 
uh, healthy enough. Uh, we may be over 50 or over 60 and we're in that high risk group, but we're healthy enough that we have to recognize that there are a lot of other people who really can't get out. Right. They are either infirm or maybe they're scared to get out or whatever. And they may not, you may, those other people may not be lucky enough to have children like you do, Art, who will help out. Mm. So as a good neighbor, those of us who are healthy should be reaching out to other people in our high risk group and if nothing else, getting in touch with them and saying, how are you? Are you making it through? Don't be worried. Do you need some help? I'll find you some help if I can't get out to the store for you. I know somebody who can. That kind of uh, support, fellow support for our fellow citizens is really important. And it's probably more important psychologically for a, a lot of people who are the very older group than it is physically to, you know, go shopping for them or something like that. Yeah, also we had, uh, we just did a, uh, we just tried it just to see what it was all about. We've never done it before. Uh, but my uh, my son and daughter-in-law ordered from Costco, and uh, we have just ordered. And it's going to take about a week till you know we can get in a queue where they can deliver. And we tried a little grocery store uh, that's uh, pretty popular, and they have they they do it through this thing called Instacart, uh, mm -hmm. and we're expecting a delivery from them. So at the end of this week, we're expecting two deliveries. But we're lucky, as you say, we have our kids nearby. Uh, but uh, ordering online and of course Amazon for non-perishables. One thing that didn't work for me is I try to order their uh, fresh foods and I can't get a delivery time, so I just canceled that. They're too busy. They're they're too busy. I think they're all gearing up for it. I think uh, it was a Bezos said he's hiring a hundred thousand people uh, part time. Yeah, and something quite, like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, and I, I know that uh, uh, just as a sort of a related thing, uh, you and I are pretty healthy for our age group. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, but you live on a farm. You're a farmer. I'm a farm. Farmer I'm, John. I'm on a ranch. A, a ranch. I thought a ranch it was a, but in the middle of an arbor. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We can call it anything we like. It's a gentleman's farm. That's yeah, all it you is. Have a lot of but I wanted to go. I wanted yeah. to go back to sure. Costco. Um, Penny went there the other day, and they are very smart. They're limiting the number of people that could get in, at least the store near us, right. to about 40 at a time. Wow. Now, you can imagine in a big box store like Costco, 40 people is you're, – you're more than six feet away from anybody. Right. So uh, that's pretty smart. And I, I really am worried about the economy um, of not the Costcos of the world, but the little mom-and-pop sure. stores. Um, I, I have a friend who owns a couple of uh, UPS stores and really bought them for his son. And it's a kind of a family operation. Yeah. Uh, those stores need customers. You need to, you don't necessarily need to go in, but uh, you know, they have mailboxes and other things. People need to go in. I think it's very simple just to all these stores, including restaurants. Restaurants shouldn't be closed down to the point where they're only Thank God they are doing takeout. At least keep these people open. But I think those those um, uh, servers uh, need to be uh, hired too. I think it's very simple. You just have whatever size restaurant you have, you limit it to half. We're only letting in X number of people at a time, number of tables filled, wh whatever it is. Fill only every other table. Better half your business for a couple of months than no business or only takeout business. So I'm, uh, on, on I, that, I wish everybody would be more sensible about this. I, so I think that there, there are two sides to that story, and you're going to probably have people who totally agree with you, and then people who say, John, you're crazy. You're going to go get infected, or you're going to get in, infected, and you're not going to show symptoms, and you're going to give it to, to your wife, or you're going to give it to, to your grandkids. So I know there are people on both sides. But sure, there are. And I, and, and I... And, just to answer that, I, I, I'm not saying that you go out willy-nilly. You go out and you don't go into big crowds. You don't go don't to theaters which are closed anymore. Which are closed yeah, anymore. Yeah. Don't go to – don't sit next to people that look or, or start – anybody starts coughing, you get up and leave. That's I mean – but the restaurant owners, for instance, I'm suggesting that they – they fill half their restaurants at a so, time. So, John, what they I'm can, gonna, what they I'm can gonna, look at the people coming in the door I'm and saying, "Are you sick?" 
we could go on forever, but uh, we could. the few of the people who haven't glazed over and fallen off their chair already, <laughs> we should end it so that yeah. when they finally wake up, they don't have the test pattern like when I was a kid. But it's a good idea. Good but idea. I but think, I do want to. I want to leave with one do, word. We do need to come back every couple of days, but we really want to encourage people to write to us and tell yes. them what's going on with them, and we'll share that as well. I'm sorry, John. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just wanted to leave you with this word. Part of the fear that I see and hear about the anxiety is testing. This big thing about testing. And most people didn't get the message. If you don't have symptoms, you don't need to be tested. If you think you have the virus, but you don't have symptoms, you don't need to be tested. When you get the symptoms, you make a phone call. They, You talk to a doctor and they tell you how bad your symptoms are. Do they match it? If they do, maybe you'll come in and get tested. Everybody should calm down about the testing. This is really, it's not that big a deal. And we do need testing and we do need more test kits, but only for those people that are probably uh, with, the, with the virus. I, I think that's my word to everybody who's watching. Panic, relax. And until next time, and I think, John, we should do this every couple of days as we get more feedback and have our own experiences. Uh, and we can do this because we're doing this all virtually. We're about 50 miles apart. Yeah. Uh, and so I feel uh, still quite connected to you, even though we are <laughs> physically distant. Uh, well, I feel they, connected they, to the surfers in the, over your shoulder. Yeah. yeah, they're really good. And they're, they've all tested negative for uh, <laughs> having any good sense in this yeah. weather. So anyway, uh, good. thank you for joining us. Stay healthy and uh, share your experiences and we'll share ours. Thank you very much. See you soon. Thanks for watching. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.